Earlier this year, Paul Kidd, who's 55 and from Staleybridge, had pleaded guilty to 29 offences, including indecent assault and sexual activity with children. He also admitted having more than 18,000 indecent images of children on his computer. The catalogue of abuse spanned three decades, some of them while he was serving in the royal household as a senior footman to the Queen Mother. Following today's sentencing, one of Paul Kidd's victims has spoken anonymously about the effect the abuse had on him. He's just a sick man that doesn't deserve any feelings towards him at all. If I started feeling anger towards him or anything like that, or any sort of emotion towards him, then he's won. And he'll never beat me. Never beat me. I don't feel anything for him at all. Paul Kidd befriended his first victim back in 1973. At the time, Mr Kidd was 20 and the abuse began the following year when the boy was 14. During the period of abuse, Kidd even took the boy to a royal tea party at Clarence House and introduced him to the Queen Mother as a friend. Kidd met his next victim in 1981. Again, the boy was 14 years old when the abuse started. The most recent period of abuse began in 2005. Once again, the boy was 14 years old. Also being sentenced alongside Paul Kidd was his friend David Hobday, who's 57. Kidd had taken one of the victims to Hobday's house and told the boy to perform a sex act on Hobday. But the judge made clear that it was Paul Kidd who was the driving force behind the abuse. I must admit that this is the worst one I've ever dealt with personally. It's the levels of abuse that they've been subjected to are horrific over a period of 30 years that we know about. Um, he's used many different mediums to contact his victims, Paul Kidd, and obviously he's shared at least one victim with another person that we know about, and I've got no doubt in my mind there are more out there. In passing sentence, Judge Coker said this was a planned, systematic abuse of victims over a period of 32 years. He said to Paul Kidd, you're someone who's dangerous, you manipulated their feelings and you present a risk to all young people who you may come across. For that reason, he passed an indeterminate prison sentence for public protection, meaning Paul Kidd will only be released when he's considered to be no longer a risk to society and will serve a minimum of six years behind bars. His co-defendant, David Hobday, who participated in the abuse against one of the victims, was sentenced to three years in prison. Ben Bland, Channel M News.